where Farina lives. Okay, I'll go knock on the door. before afternoon tea. Uh -huh. Who are you? <clears throat> Lady Farina, please allow me to introduce myself. I am Xavier, a film director. Hello. Oh, is that the traveler in Paimon I see behind you? And who's this? I'm Chiori. Ah, the one from Chioria Boutique. Hello, hello. <laughs> so, what are you all doing here? Uh, do you need something? Did you just get up, Farina? It's already past noon, you know. Huh? Oh, I... Uh, Paima means the weather is so nice in the afternoon and the sun is so warm. Just like how you make us feel. Sleeping in late is a really smart idea. <laughs> Uh, no. I was just up late last night reading some novels. Uh, what does sleeping in have to do with the weather? <clears throat> this is a small gift we've prepared for you, Lady Farina. We hope you like it. No need to be so formal. I'm just a regular person like everyone else now. Oh, is this Fontanalia Moose? <laughs> it's one of my favorites! That's great! So, actually, there's something we need your help with. Given your renowned passion and understanding of drama, I would like to ask that you serve as the director of our film crew. Oh, but didn't you just say that you're a director? Yes, but for this particular project, I'm mainly working as a producer. Besides, I'm sure that your understanding of the performing arts far surpasses my own, Lady Farina. Are the Traveler and Paimon also part of the film crew? Yep, we sure are! Paimon's the clapper loader and he's the camera operator! Camera operator? That can be a pretty technical job, and it directly affects the final quality of the film. Are you really up to it? No, I'm not questioning your abilities. It's just that I've never really seen you use a camera before. Maybe you can come up with a test for the Traveler and see for yourself! If he can satisfy you with his camera skills, then you'd have nothing to worry about and can join the team! What do you say? Uh, you sure are getting better at rolling with the situation, Paimon. Hmm... Oh, I do wish to see how skilled the Traveler really is with a camera. Alright, how about this? We'll work with what we have. I'll give you some scenarios and see if your work is up to my standards. Very good. It's essential for the camera operator to understand the director's vision. I'll make my decision after seeing your work. Are you ready? I have high standards, you know. Okay, grab the camera and I'll give you a scenario. Oh, it appears that you have more skill than I thought. All the shots had a great composition, and I could really feel a connection to the characters and their lines. Yeah! Does that mean you agree to be our director, Farina? <laughs> Did you think I would agree just like that? After our performance of The Little Oceanid, I've begun to make a name for myself again, you know. In fact, I've already had several troops approach me for the Fontanalia Film Festival. Unfortunately, the scripts were all pretty boring and didn't pique my interest. If others were to find out I agreed to work with you so easily, then, well... Hey, but didn't we have a deal? What else do we need to do to convince you, Farina? Uh, well, what about the pay? Huh? 
you know how much you're willing to pay me to be the director? The pay is also an important factor for me to consider, you know. Well, uh, I can offer you this much? What? That's all? If Nervilat were to hear of this, he could charge you with underpaying your labor. I'm sorry, but our crew is in a tight financial spot at the moment. I see. Well, even though it's highly unlikely now that I'll join your crew, there's still something I'd like to ask. Exactly what film are you planning to make? Oh, uh, our script is an adaptation of The Two Musketeers. Huh? Wait, you mean the suspense thriller novel that was a number one bestseller? Oh, so Farina's read it too. Of course I read it. I've always had a keen interest in artistic works that strike a chord with the populace. I see. It all makes sense now. You must have used most of the budget to pay for the copyright. Uh, not really. The novel's author transferred the copyright to me practically for free once he heard that I wanted to make a film adaptation of the story. The lack of budget is due to another issue. He probably just wants to get his name out there. So, Mora isn't the most important thing to him right now. It reminds me of a delivery courier who wears one of my designs while traveling all across Tavat. I didn't charge her much for the outfit either. The exposure she provides for my brand is well worth it. Uh... So, are you a big fan of this story, Farina? Well, uh, it's all right. The pacing of the story is good, but the character relationships could use some work. When I was reading it before, I always felt like some things were left on a rather unsatisfactory note. I have high standards, you know. Ahem, Mr. Xavier, if, hypothetically speaking, I agree to be the director, how much freedom would I have in terms of script revisions and creative interpretation? Uh, oh! Oh, as much freedom as you would need! I wouldn't dare doubt the tastes of Fontaine's greatest star! Good! Then I'm free to alter the script as I see fit? Absolutely! No problem! Seems that your crew really can't go on without my care and direction. So, you agree? Yes, I agree. Although the pay is well below what someone of my caliber deserves, a great script calls for a great director. I mustn't let a perfectly good story be ruined due to lack of funds. If you have fine cheese and bread, you wouldn't just let it sit on the counter and get moldy just because you lack an oven, right? Oh, Hydro Archon above! I'm not dreaming, am I? Somebody pinch me. There's no more Hydro Archon, you know. And it's still a little early to celebrate. There's a lot that goes into shooting a film. Although, the trickiest tasks of finalizing the script and casting the actors have already been taken care of, we'll still need to reserve filming locations. Not to say, set up lighting and props. And uh, by the way, since we'll be filming The Two Musketeers, we'll need to find an action choreographer. Ideally, a professional who has actual experience with muskets. Yes, I've thought about this as well. I was hoping that you might know someone who could handle the job. Me? Hmm. If this was before, I could have simply asked Lorand. But it's already been some time since I last talked to her. Navia can also use firearms, but unfortunately, 
her style is quite different from that of the characters in the story. Could we ask the Special Security and Surveillance Patrol? Oh, you mean the Special Patrol's Musketeers? Yes, that's right. They work with muskets every day. I can't think of anyone more qualified than them. They would be under Nervilette's jurisdiction. Unfortunately, I, uh, don't have any connection with them at all. Hmm, so, in the end, we still have to start by talking to Nervilette. No need to go to all that trouble. I know their Captain Chevres. Oh, you do? Wait, Chiari, how do you know the captain of the Special Patrol's Musketeers? No particular reason. Running a business means dealing with some trouble from time to time, and she's helped me out on a few occasions. In return, I've helped her handle a few situations in which the Special Patrol couldn't get involved directly. So, we've gotten to know each other over time. Uh, so you're saying there's been times when the Special Patrol needed a fashion designer to handle a situation? Your work is becoming more and more mysterious. It'd be best to keep it that way. Anyway, enough about that. What do you all think about asking the captain to be our musket action choreographer? She sounds professional enough. She is a captain after all. <laughs> I have no objections. But I imagine the special security and surveillance patrol must be busy with their duties. Do you think she'd really have time to help with shooting a film? And then there's the issue of pay. Well, it just so happens that she's also not the kind of person that's just after Mora. As for whether she has time, I'll have to go and ask her first. Then I'll leave that to you. Macaroni's on sale today, so I've got to go. You can just tell me how things went when we discuss tomorrow's plan later. No problem. <laughs> Having Farina join feels like a big boost to our team! Of course. Just wait until the day of our premiere. You'll witness the true power of my name in these lands. <laughs> You'll be so glad I agreed to help. I can guarantee that even the standing tickets will be sold out. I'll be sure to ask some people I know to see if they'd be willing to act as extras. <laughs> Seems like you're finally getting more comfortable with your own reputation now. I didn't ask for the Clapper Loader's commentary, Paimon. Then let's get going. I happen to know where Chevrolet is today. By the way, I'm curious. If my pay is so low, then what about our two lead actors? Didn't they travel here all the way from Inazuma? Actually, they told us that they see the trip as part of a cultural exchange, so they didn't ask for any pay. What? So is every person into that who doesn't want money gathered here to shoot this film? Don't tell me Chiori isn't being paid either. <laughs> I already knew Xavier from before, and he's also agreed to give my brand some good exposure. It seems the gods have really smiled upon you, Xavier. And that certainly doesn't include me, mind you. <laughs>